Uh-oh. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Lots of earnings after the close. We're going to have some uh, big action this next 60 minutes. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 74, NASDAQ down 57, S&P's up 5, gold contract down $4.50 trading at 1719 an ounce. You got silver down 7 cents, $15.13 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $12.76 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year uh, right now, up 11 ticks, trading 139 flat. The 30-year up a point plus 10 ticks at 181.28 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 180 ticks, trading 99.860. The Euro is at 108. The Yen is out here at 106 and 0.85. And the British Pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. This is going to be a wild... Six, not only not so much the 60 minutes that we're coming up right now, folks, but after the close. The, re, the reason being is that you get, you're going to have a couple of the big NDX stocks come out. Uh, what we had out here yesterday is that you had a failure in price, failure in volume inside the S&P as well as the NDX 100. Now, the, the benchmark for this failure inside the SPY is 287.30. Now, we're over that number. We hit 291. We gave it up in a, in a big way. Uh, the real question is going to be, are you going to close under the 287.30? And we'll see how that shakes out coming into the close. That's your S&P. The S&P actually has been hanging tough all day long. NDX 100, different ballgame. NDX 100, we failed on price, failed on volume yesterday, failed very quickly this morning. Um, inside the queues, we made it up to a price point of $217, while the failure is at 216.51. Uh, that volume there was 62 million. We got up there yesterday with 36. You can see there's no buyers up there. You opened higher than that today and they just sold it down. We're gonna have much higher volume than we had at the highs of yesterday. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold rejected lower price out here this morning. Uh, bottom line, rejected it pretty quickly out here this morning too, by the way. Uh, you got down to a price point of 17.04. You're at 17.18 right now. Uh, volume's anemic. You've uh, done uh, 161,000 contracts. Well, you're going into 249,000. This is a flat-out rejection. Uh, you haven't got back into the lower range. The lower range uh, is the approximately, it's about 17.07. We, we got to 17.04, and it said, see, I don't want to be it. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar out here? King dollar, uh, bottom line. Da down 184 ticks, nothing heavy here, 99.855. Your lowest swing point out here that I suspect we're going for is 98.825. Uh, what we do have, and this is really subtle, we'll see whether they can stay underneath it. 99.910, which we're at 99.855, gets you in the lower range. So if, in fact, we close there, that's going to be a heads up. That'll be saying that it is going to go after these lower swing points. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, which I suspect it doesn't, it looks to me like we're going to have a low volume market, is that you got uh, GE up 41 cents. We have uh, uh, American Airlines up $1.36. You have Carnival up 151. Delta is up 222. See, that in itself, folks, okay, this is what's pretty cool to really get wrap, wrap your head around. When you have all the dogs that are the highest volumes, that is problematic because these, these stocks are toast, folks. United's up 275. In fact, let's go inside the NDX 100 because we had two of the four leaders out here today were the dogs. They still are. Uh, United up 11%. You have uh, Copart up uh, 6.5. Both, both, in both those cases, uh, those 
Those are no doubt bounces. If you get two bucks, you get two bucks. But guess what? Those are the dogs in a huge way. You're talking about United down from uh, 90 uh, dollars. You know, hit a low in March of 17. You're at 27. Big deal. That, that, that doesn't doesn't do a thing. When you're charging higher, which we did off of the open, what you want to be, what you want to see, is that you want to see the stocks that are strong inside of the leaders. And if we go, uh, when I was just looking at this, this is a, like really a heads up. Because Microsoft is one of the strongest stocks out there. Has been before the coronavirus came in. Has been afterwards. Okay, Microsoft, a uh, huge expansion. We went from $132. Last week, you hit uh, $180. Now, what we haven't with Microsoft. Microsoft has a high volume high, that's, uh, low to, uh, high volume low at $166. That's going to get tested. Bottom line, that's when we had come down uh, last week. You come down hard and fast. Right now, you don't have an expansion of volume yet, but it's giving it up on price. That's telling me that we want to go down there. Now, after the close out here, this is going to be really wild watching how Google is going to operate. Because Google is down, and you have a slight expansion of volume. Right now, at Google, we're at 1.6 million. Try to make a high yesterday, it's 1.6. So, Google also has a high volume low layout here, 1209. That's telling me that Google wants to go after the 1209, where it really can go after. And this is where it's going to get interesting, is that I suspect Google's going to probably try to get into like 1175. Now, if Google does that, folks, okay, that is telling me that the indices are going to come back to the breakout area from April 6th. And what we're going to be able to glean out of some of these earnings this afternoon is that where are they going? And if that's what you get, then that would be a natural retracement back to those areas. If they go higher, guess what? Bottom line, that market would be saying, hey, guess what, man? I want to go topside, and there's nothing that's going to stop me from going topside. It's going to be pretty wild watching it shake out. The Dow Industrials, that really gave it up in spades. You know, the Dow... I uh, got up to a price point of uh, 24,500 today, uh, and the bottom line is that uh, you're up 68 bucks, but you're at 24,200. Dow, Dow Industrials right now uh, trading up. Uh, let's see, 59. Nasdaq is uh, down. Uh, Na Dow's up 75. Nasdaq down 59. S and P's are up four. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm at Mr. Jason Path. We are going to be talking oil, gas, central banks. Coming right back.